Hey, what's going on guys? How are you doing today? I hope that you're having a great day. This video is dedicated to people who are just starting or are about to start to automate their homes. But before we dive in, if this is your first time in my channel, my name is Eddie. I create videos about home automation products uh, and I give advice on how you can automate your house. When building a smart home, there is a lot of things that you have to take in consideration. One of those, and probably the most important, is the budget. You can start from $50 all the way up to thousands of dollars. Another important factor is what you're gonna want to do around your house. If you want home automation for security, that's one option. If you want it for energy management, that's another one. Lighting, appliances, there is many things that you can do with home automation. So. Uh, you're gonna have to sit down and do the math. If you want your home automation products to be able to work correctly on your house, make sure that you have a strong internet connection. It's gonna have to be a high speed internet connection and take in consideration the more products that you have, the more speed that you're gonna need. Um, for the cameras, for example, you need to use two megabytes of uploading for each camera. So if you're gonna have around five cameras, you will need 10 megabytes for uploading. So now, if you're planning on having multiple home animation products, let's say more than 50, including like light bulb cameras, hubs, thermostats, um, outlets, all of that, uh, you may want to look into getting a dedicated router exclusively for your home automation products. So once you have figured that out, how many devices you're going to need around your house, uh, the internet speed connection that you need to have, then we can start building your system. Uh, when build, build, building your system, you need to know that there is products that are not going to be compatible with all the system or all the different platforms that there is. So once you know what your budget's going to be, and that you also have figured out your internet connection, then we can start building your system. So we will need to make sure that all the devices that you get, all the different products that you get, can work under the same system. I'm gonna put here this one for example. This one here, it's just a light bulb. But this one, it says here that it's compatible with Amazon, it's compatible with Google Assistant, and it's also compatible with smart things. So there is three platforms that we can use. So you're gonna have to do the same thing with all the products. Uh, I recommend buying products that have the most platforms um, compatible with. There is many different products, brands, and platforms that you can use. Some of the most popular platforms, and you're gonna have to choose one, it's either Google, Amazon, or Smart Things. So once you have selected one of those, I recommend doing some research before buying. Uh, you are gonna be able to start buying the products. I always recommend going, especially if you are a beginner in this, I recommend you going on the cheaper side, buying some, just a few products, trying them out, and then start buying more if you are comfortable with it. I'm gonna put my house as an example. Uh, when I first started with home automation, the first thing I wanted to do was the light bulbs, especially the ones for the exterior of the house, because I usually like keeping them on at night until the morning, and very often, I I used to forget them on during the whole day until I will come back from work. So finally turn it off. So when I got those, um, I put all the ones around the house in the exterior and then I move on to the indoor ones. And then after that, after I feel comfortable with that, I started adding more stuff like cameras outside, uh, Alexas for voice commands, etc. And so the more comfortable you get, the more you can start upgrading your equipment. I also prepare a list of ideas for you guys uh, of what you can get to to start on your um, system, like voice commands. I'm sorry, voice assistant, lighting, doorbells, cameras, door locks, thermostats, hubs, smart screens, smart outlets, and smart switches. And now, if you're just about to start building your system, I recommend you starting from the basics. Let's say a voice assistant and lighting 
or voice assistant, lighting and a camera, but don't try to cover it all at once because it's just gonna be overwhelming. Uh, if I was you, I would go for a voice assistant and probably lighting, and after that, starting adding more stuff like cameras, switches, outlets, and that way you're gonna start taking it in little by little and it's gonna be more enjoyable. If you really like this video, please subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to watch my next video. I post videos every single week. Thank you very much guys for watching it and I hope you have a good day.